What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and I saw an article on my Nintendo News that I definitely wanted to bring up with you dudes and it's something that most of you probably know by now and it regards what the most popular platform for gaming is for people of a certain age group. Some of you may be surprised by this and I'll admit I was one of those people that was surprised but there's a lot of people that do keep up with this kind of information actively and um, they know this stuff for themselves. Apparently the most popular platform in terms of um, you know mobile gaming is well, mobile in general, um, tablets, smartphones, things like that. And this is something that surprised me at first because obviously I thought that Nintendo was on top of their game to the point where the 3DS was the most popular thing to, you know, game with mobile. Um, the Vita had a horrific death. So this is surprising for me in a sense. I knew the mobile market was big, but this fucking big? No. Apparently, mobile is the most popular platform for gaming. <gasps> Wait a minute. So it's not even that the mobile, you know, Here's what I initially thought reading this, was that, okay, the most popular mobile gaming platform is, you know, tablets and smartphones, but apparently no. The most popular platform for gaming in general, period, for people that are aged 2 to 17 is mobile. So that's kind of fucking crazy, the fact that Androids and tablets are the most popular gaming platform for these age groups. That's a massive age gap right there. And we, we gotta look into this article because the number, this sounds so ridiculous, I almost don't want to believe it. The NPD group has revealed the unsurprising news that smartphone and tablets are the most popular gaming platform for children aged 2 to 17 in the United States. The, ND, the NPD's group's recent report titled Kids and Gaming 2015 mentioned that 63% of kids say that they play games on a mobile device. As we already know, Nintendo has teamed up with DNA to produce a Nintendo branded IP for smartphones and I'm glad they finally got on this train. Rest in PC Wada, and he, he was the one that kind of, you know, kind of set this off. Um, I remember him saying at some point that he didn't want to put Nintendo games on platforms that were like mobile devices, but apparently they caved in, and they have to, because with numbers like this, there's no way that you can ignore the mobile market at this point. Um, let me see. As we already know, Nintendo Team blah, 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 blah. We also know that the Pokemon company has a brand new title in development exclusively for smartphones titled Pokemon Go. The year, the first year, wait, excuse me, sorry. The first of Nintendo's mobile and tablet games will be coming later this year. 63% of kids say they play games on a mobile device. 45% of kids use a home PC for gaming, a drop of 22 points since 2013. The decline is most prominent among children ages two to five, obviously. Um, video game consoles are also losing ground. Used by 60% of kids surveyed compared with 67% in 2013. Around 41% of kids surveyed by NPD say that they spend more time playing games on mobile devices than they did a year ago, with the average amount of time per week growing to six hours. God damn. The amount of money kids spend on digital games over the past three months climbed by $5 to $13. That's undeniable. So obviously at this point, mobile games are becoming way more of a stable footrest in the gaming community. And here's the thing, right? In the beginning, a lot of people said that mobile gaming wasn't going to be reliable. Oh yeah, I, f I forgot the music. But um, a lot of people saying that mobile gaming wasn't necessarily reliable because the people that do mostly game on mobile, like for example Candy Crush and whatnot, those aren't necessarily a reliable audience or like a stable user group. Whereas you know they they're like they have like that brand loyalty in a sense. So a lot of those gamers would just kind of you know come here once and then they they leave basically. So you can't really rely on them for the long term. But it seems like with titles that are being more, you know, carved out, more more developed, and, you know, more significant, like Pokemon Go, for instance, that they're really trying to hit that mobile market and develop brand loyalty and, and make some, you know, returning customers as well, too, here. And I, I like the idea that, you know, Nintendo, probably their, their titles for the mobile market aren't going to be just some, you know, some flimsy titles that will just be thrown out the window, you forget about them in a month or something. They're really trying to flush out some long-standing games for the mobile market. And of course, naturally, the technology is getting better with these mobile devices, and with better technology means more advanced games, more engaging games, things that'll last longer, and they could potentially make a lot of those consumers that use mobile devices to play games a much more reliable audience base. And I think that's what the goal is here, and I'm glad to see that things are formulating that way. I'm just kind of creeped out because mobile games are really starting to, you know, push out the console games and, you know, like the dedicated gaming portable games. Like, when I leave the house, I always have my 3DS with me, and I always have my um, smartphone with me. Those are two devices that I have, guaranteed. But 
Is, is it potentially something that could happen in the deep future, whereas Nintendo just starts making all the games for the mobile devices? Eventually, when mobile devices advance far enough, will they be able to play the games as regular as um, dedicated gaming platforms? That's super far in the future and nowhere near our time, I think, I hope. Maybe, I don't know. That would be kind of cool, to be honest with you. You know, play Smash Brothers on your phone. Although the buttons would be a little bit of an issue. But, um, you guys gotta let me know what you think about this in the description. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can get a straw poll going for this. I can't think of one right now. But, um, th these numbers are insane, man. In fact, maybe the straw poll will be something like, uh, how many of you dudes actually game um, actively on a phone? I have not gamed on my phone at all. And I haven't gamed on a mobile device, you know, like dedicated gaming on a mobile device in quite a long time. I just feel like some of the games there aren't really to my liking, but that could definitely change. And with Pokemon Go being on mobile, I can see myself playing that shit all the time. So this could be a new era, whereas people who only play dedicated gaming devices are actually attracted to gaming on a mobile device because of the fact that there are solid titles being released for it. Um, Pokemon and you know Nintendo's upcoming titles as well too. It's undeniable, and of course we got games like um, that, that Sonic game as well too. I don't even remember the name of it, the one with the roulette that everyone hates. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.